This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. All right, so Kurt, here we go. Whose idea was this, by the way, for you to travel to James Storm's uh, hometown? It was the creative idea. The writers came up with it, and we actually filmed it, I believe, the week prior to the uh, when when, the, when it aired on TV. So uh, it was a lot of fun. I really had a blast doing it. So, so you mentioned it was about a week prior to doing that. Do you remember, was this a Jeremy Borash or a Vince Russo uh, deal where, where they were there with you? I believe Vince Russo wrote the segments and Jeremy okay. Borash was there present filming them. So they both had a role in it. I got gotcha. you. So talk about being in the ring with Sting cutting these promos. What was that like for you working with him in this capacity? <clears throat> Sting is such an icon. He's a legend. I mean, the guy has great in-ring presence. He's one of the best promo guys in the history of the business. When you're in the ring with him, you have to step up your game. Sting is one of the absolute best of all time, and he's proven it every single week that he goes out there. So, uh, you know, you, you get, you're out there. Sting's obviously in this authoritative role, and uh, are you guys having conversations prior to going out there? Do you remember, you know, what that looked like in terms of Sting being the authority and dictating what's going on and – Hey, this is kind of what we're going to play out. Is this is you know, uh, is it again more Vince Russo's idea? Uh, it was more Vince Russo's idea. Okay, you know, the writing came from Vince Russo, and uh, he would write the promo segments, and we would uh, add our flavor to it. But you know, other than that, it was all Vince Russo. Do you know if ultimately the idea was at some point now, even through this creative, for you to eventually go against Sting through all this? I have no idea. I mean, obviously, we were rubbing elbows at this particular time. I would think that a, a program would be starting up with Sting and I, but I don't believe we did. I don't think we did it after that. Yeah, no. Well, listen, we have here exclusively on the Kurt Angle Show these clips of you going uh, to uh, paying James Storm hometown a visit. Did you really go to his hometown, or is this just some off-the-beaten-place path that you figured oh. out? His hometown. Man. Oh, this is something else. So we're going to play those for you. So here we go, Kurt. More uh, fun stuff from this build up. Here we go. You know, Kurt Angle, I hear you running around asking everybody where uh, Cowboy James Storm is. You even asked Sting for a rematch against me. Well, I'm not a hard man to find, Kurt Angle, because you see, I'm either in two places. I'm either here with this rowdy bunch right here, or I'm down at the local bar. Shocking. So in case you need to uh, put it in your GPS so you can hear that little voice go, Turn right in 600 feet. Your destination for your butt whipping will be on your left. You see, Kurt Angle, I came out here like a man. I stood face to face and toe to toe and told you that I was not scared of you. And I am not intimidated by you. that you did hand me my butt and I'm pretty sure that if you look on your right fist you might see pieces of my face still on there but there's always a but for three quarters you kicked the living crap out of me it was like I couldn't even get a first down but in that fourth quarter my friend you got Tim Tebowed <laughs> but I got the job done. So, you know James Storm? Yeah, I know the cowboy. He's rocked my world a time or two back in the day. I'm sure he has. <laughs> so, this is 100% moonshine. The same exact drink that James Storm drinks when he comes in here. 100%. Hey, you know who you remind me of? 
The horse I rode in on. <laughs> Screw you. Tastes like piss water. Howdy, James. I told you I was coming to Leper's Fort. And it looks like there's a, a full house here tonight. And all I have to say is, sorry about their damn luck. All right, line them up, boys. Oh, my goodness, Kurt. That's hilarious. <laughs> what do you remember about that? Oh, I, you know what? I was just having fun. You know, it was... We were doing these segments in uh, James' hometown, and, uh, you know, I was just letting loose. Your uh, outfit, the hat, and the bullets. Were... It wasn't even scripted. It was just, we were just throwing shit out there. But my outfit was so funny. I looked like an idiot. Uh, <laughs> that was the whole plan. <laughs> I feel strongly that saving money is important. You know, if it's not something we worry about now, boy, we are really going to worry about it later. And I want to help you get out of debt faster and do it with cheaper monthly payments. I'm talking to you if you're in a 30 year loan. Now is the time to take years off of your loan. We're routinely helping our listeners cut five, 10, even 15 years off their loan. And you can do this without perfect credit with no money out of pocket. You've just got to start at savewithconrad.com. Uh, if you guys have not seen the video, it's a must watch. It's on YouTube. If you don't have ad free shows and don't have video of this, cause we have it on the video, but he looks as goofy a cowboy as you ever want to see, which is, I know that's the look you were going for Kurt. And, uh, so goofy of a cowboy. I didn't look like a cowboy. <laughs> no, it's fantastic. It's the Kurt angle. We didn't know we wanted, but need, <laughs> but storm would cut a hell of a promo here, Kurt, prior to, to them uh, going to you here on the camera. Do you think honestly working with you was elevating James's game at this point? Oh, I believe so. I, I was the top guy in the company and James, you know, had to step up his game. He had no other choice and he did. He did an excellent job. The whole program I had with James, he did a stellar job. I was really impressed with his promo skills and his wrestling. He did an awesome job. Well, buddy, we're not done because we got more of you in the bar and uh, it's coming up next. You're going to be terrorizing his hometown. So let's get to that one next. Here we go. We know James Storm. Yeah, we know James and we know you. Good. Good. Stop. 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 <laughs> and you want some of this? Put the gun oh, down. Start, start, start. Put the gun oh, this? Down. Oh, this yeah. ain't a real gun. This is a prop. But I am gonna bash someone over the head with it. What? I'm gonna beat you up. Duh! Duh! Oh my God, Kurt's just tearing up the bar. Old school style here. Line them up. Super kicks all around. buddy let's do it let's break the, the the third wall here the first guy that you hit with the pool cue it's former northeast wrestler cj o'doyle but where does the rest of this the rest of these guys you're by the way let's paint the picture for those listening to audio only you got the goofy cowboy hat on you're carrying a fake gun around the bar you're lining guys up it looks like a scene out of some old western what, what's going on here man well hey i was going to the cowboy james storm's hometown i had to dress up like a cowboy <laughs> 
but you're so you're are these guys just all I'm, I'm assuming they're all either stunt workers or are they wrestlers from a local regional promotion who are these guys do you remember yeah i believe they were local wrestlers they, they always try to bring in local wrestlers first because those guys understand the business and they understand what we're trying to do the the physicality that comes with it so when all this is done is this just like hilarity after you're done recording i mean obviously the bar owner is just like hey this is awesome you guys do whatever you want kind of thing <laughs> well we just had a blast uh, you know being in the bar and doing that shit was a lot of fun uh you know i it, the whole thing was supposed to mock james and uh, i think we all did an incredible job of that did you find it to be like have to be serious as as it's like funny i mean you picked up a christmas tree and threw it on them you know at the very end obviously this is january so they're still decorated for christmas but part of me is like this is what what do we do this is so funny but you got to be serious you pulled it off man right right well you know i had to be serious and i had to be funny and a word to describe that is sarcasm i think i was being very sarcastic <laughs> Uh, wow. Well, is this just different from your time in the WWF with Austin and the cowboy? I mean, this reminds me of a lot of the skits that you were doing back then with Austin and the cowboy hats and the whole nine yards with him. Well, with Steve, with Austin, we were buddies, you know, we were cowboy buddies. Uh, James and I weren't buddies. So this is a program against James. So it was a little bit different. And, you know, my time with Stone Cold Steve Austin, I, I can't compare anything, uh, anything else compared to that. Um, you know, what we did there was really special. This was just basically me uh, and not anybody else doing uh, all the uh, the pre-tapes. So, sure. um, you know, with Austin, it was, you know, him and I together, and it was a good little uh, cowboy grouping. We're talking about TNA Genesis uh, 2012, and it's the first impact taping coming off of the loss to James Storm. You find yourself coming out. You're going to be cutting a promo to Sting, and we have that clip, and we're going to take a listen. Let's check it out. You ready? Yes. Here we go. Sting! Sting, I'm not going to ask you. I'm telling you. Get your out here right now, because I have a few things I have to get off my chest. Sting has on, if I could just point that out. Now, you probably wonder why I asked you out here, I'm going to tell you. But for the first time in your life, you're going to shut up and listen. Let me explain to you, Sting. I mean, first of all, you booked me in a match with James Storm for the World Heavyweight title, and you give me less than 90 minutes to prepare for that match. And what happens? James Storm screws me with a loaded boot to the chin. Then finally, I get the rematch with James Storm, and what happens? Same loaded boot, same result. Do you know who I am? I'm Kurt freaking Angle. I am the master of every submission wrestling move known to man. I could take you down right now and make you cry for your mommy. But I'm not going to. Because all I want is my rematch with James Storm, and you're going to give it to me. Rematch? Rematch? Are you kidding me? 
This right here is a gift from James Storm. He told me it's time for everybody to cowboy up around here. And you need to cowboy up right now and realize that James Storm has beat you fair and square and needs to move onward and upward to Bobby Roode. Ta-ta for now. Oh, well, hold on, Sting. It seems like you, you have it out for me and Bobby Roode. I mean, it seems like you like the way that James Storm plays cowboy. I mean, you, you got that cowboyish jacket on. Maybe it's time for me to play a little bit of cowboy. Yeah. How about I go to James Storm's hometown and I commence to beating the crap out of everybody there? Yeah. And maybe, maybe James Storm will accept my rematch and I will prove to everybody that I'm a way bigger badass than he could ever be. Ta-ta for now, Sting. Loaded boot, are you kidding me? Yeah, I don't know about the loaded boot thing. I hear you though, Mike, I do, I agree with you. I don't think that boot was ever loaded, that James Storm. Kurt Angle was twice. Heard the threats from Kurt Angle, and the words of Kurt Angle tell me, in his mind, the issues with James. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new contents. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.